Hi, I'm Evan Forster, author of the MBA Reality Check and educational consultant here at Forster Thomas in New York City. I'm Anna Mae Jerry. I'm a veteran coach at Forster Thomas in New York City. I've helped many candidates get into top tier business schools. I'm also a singer and poet, and today I'm here with... Justin Marshall. I'm a lead coach here at Forster Thomas, and I've gotten countless candidates into top tier business schools. So as you can see, today we're going to be uh, having a conversation about the way, the different ways in which men and women take on the accomplishment questions and the MBA questions in general. What is the biggest challenge that men face when answering accomplishment questions? I, I see in many cases the men are not proactive enough. They're sitting back, they're joining clubs because they know it looks good to be a member of a club. They're, 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 doing, they're doing their work, they're doing everything, but they're not actually starting anything. They're not initiating anything. I find that the default tends to be business deals. You know, either they raise the billion dollars or save the billion dollars or any story involving saving the day at the last minute. That's a big one. Got it. And Justin, you... I agree wholeheartedly. I see constantly, it's, a, it's whether it's a merger, whether it's an acquisition, whether it's a mergerization, it's constantly guys are talking about the, the deal they put together, how many people they liaised with, how many people they they uh, they were in charge of. It's all about that. So you can, you can see the pecs being flexed as they talk, as if we're supposed to be wowed by their, their, their simple existence in the room. Anime, do you think there's a specific way in which women take on responding to uh, accomplishments, like, like what are their greatest accomplishments, why are they so significant, why do they think they're significant, what is it, you know, what is the significance to them about this accomplishment, uh, you know, versus the way a guy takes it on. Women focus on what they didn't do. And it's only at the end of the cup conversation that I discover that they started the largest sports club, you know, in China. <laughs> that's, that's true. I've, I've seen many cases in which a woman will be pitching a story and I'll be saying, oh, okay, so it sounds nice, but what happened here? What happens here? And suddenly, at, at the very end of it, they're saying, oh, well, also I had to, I, you know, I had to uh, go to my boss and yell and scream at him for half an hour because he didn't understand. And I'm like, this, this, is, this is brilliant. This is great. Mm -hmm. But they don't think of it on their own. Mm -hmm. I think with accomplishments, one of the one of the most typical things I see in terms of how they break down by gender is that men are always talking about stories of how they conquered people, and women are always talking about stories of how they supported people. A little lotus flower. Yes, yes, isn't that great? I think we, I, I, th I think that women need to be aware of that and really focus on the times when they stood up to people, mm -hmm. and men need to make sure that they're keep in mind the times that they maybe once in a while actually cooperated with someone. What's the biggest challenge that women face when answering accomplishment questions? Dead essay file. Painting murals on inner city high school walls. <laughs> done. Over. It's great, love it, it's beautiful, but it's done. It's time to up the stakes. What is something that really leaves a mark? What is something that builds leadership? For example, getting the high school students at that school to start mural programs. On their own. On their own, exactly. Ah, excellent, excellent. That's so something like that might take it out of the dead essay file and distinguish yourself. Oh, is there another dead essay? When it comes to running marathons, ladies, there's so many other body parts to run for other than breasts and vaginas. And that's how we roll at Forrester Thomas.